Hey guys, welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, for tea tonight we're going to have an absolute Scottish classic, which is Stovies. Now, if you've never heard of Stovies before, it's a Scottish favourite based on potatoes and meat. Recipes and ingredients, ingredients vary widely, but always, always contain potatoes and onions. There's also a meat element like sausages, beef, minced beef or any other meat. Traditional Scottish stovies, let me tell you, are absolutely delicious. It really is comfort food at its absolute best. It's also a simple one pot dish made on the stove top and I think that's probably where the name comes from. Now I grew up as a child in Scotland and we'd have this quite often. You often find the meat element of the dish will vary depending on whereabouts you live in Scotland. For example, I stay in Ayrshire, which is on the west coast of Scotland, and we use square sausages, or they're also known as Lorne sausage. My mother, who was from Glasgow, made hers with minced beef, and my gran, who stayed somewhere in between, used whatever was left over, usually from another meal. It could have been stewed beef, roast beef, mutton, anything really, all just get through in. You can also use beef links, and that's what I'm using today. This was a video request by Michelle on YouTube. She has a sort of beauty and lifestyle channel and our channel is called Lightening Lass and I'll link that in the description down below. She is absolutely fabulous and also a fellow Scot so please go and check her out. Right guys, I've rambled enough so I'll now get on with the recipe. This is what you're going to need. I've actually weighed everything this time so I hope that helps you out. The quantities will also be lifted, listed sorry, in the info box down below and this is what you're going to need. Okay, to begin with you're going to need one and a half kilos of floury potatoes such as Maris Pipers, King Edwards, and you want to peel them and then you want to half them. And we've also got a pint and a half of beef stock. This is mine's here. Now this is just a pint and a half of boiling water with two oxo cubes dissolved into it. Feel free to use any kind of beef stock that you like, but I just think this is the easiest and it's really, really tasty as well. And you also want two medium carrots and you want to dice them up. You want two medium onions and you want to slice these and I've also got 450 grams of beef links. Now that comes to about, that's about five or six beef links, but you can use as many or as little as you like, depending on the size of your family. Right, okie dokie, let's go over to the cooker. Right guys, so today I'm gonna to be using the slow cooker because that's how I like to do my stovies. So just set your slow cooker to medium for about six hours. Yep, six hours. <laughs> the longer the cook, the absolute better, which is handy because I've got tons to do today. That's where the slow cooker comes in so handy. If you're going to do this in the stove top, Michelle, maybe, <laughs> just follow these instructions in exactly the same way. Keep your heat in your cooker down low for about two hours and you'll get very close results to this. But the end result may not be as thick and combined, so you might have to adjust it a wee bit. Anyway, a slow cooker is well worth investing in, in my opinion. You just throw everything in and then you forget about it. I use mine a lot, especially for like stews and casseroles, that type of thing. And they're very, very inexpensive. I mean, this one I got was about 20 quid from Argos. And it's a good brand. I mean, Murphy Richards, you can't go wrong. I'll also pop a link in the info box down below, just in case you're interested in buying one. And who knows, you might be able to pick one up even cheaper with Black Friday coming up. Okay, so here we go. I like just to try and layer things up a wee bit so the flavours kind of mingle. So I'm going to start with some potatoes first. And you just chuck them in the bottom. I've already set my slow cooker to medium and now I'm going to put in some onion just to kind of break them up a wee bit as you go. Make sure your hands are nice and clean obviously, goes without saying. So that's some onions and then I'm going to put some carrots in. Okay and I've actually half my, chopped my wee sausages in half simply because things fit in the slow cooker better that way. You know, because you're when you've got quite a few, th quite a lot of things to put in, the smaller you can make them, the better. But you don't want to do your potatoes too small because you don't want them breaking up too much, or they'll just disintegrate into your gravy, which isn't great. And also your potato, if you, if you kind of vary the size of your potatoes. I mean, this one's quite big, and these ones are tiny. Um, it just means you're going to get some sort of mushed up than others. If that makes sense, it just makes the texture that wee bit more. You know, it's just a bit nicer. So that's all of the sausages in. A wee bit more carrot. And some more onion. And that's you really. You just want to put your liquid in. Now you don't want to put too much liquid in because obviously the slow cooker, when you put the lid on, 
the liquid isn't going to evaporate so you don't have to worry about it drying out. That's a good thing about these as well. You can just go away and leave them. So you don't want everything totally swamped. So you put in a pint and a half, it's going to come up just over halfway. And when things start to break down, you know, a little sort of, I don't know the best word to use, mushing together, <laughs> I suppose. Right, okay guys, that's us. So I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to go about the rest of my day and I'll see you in about six hours. Bye for now. Hey guys, I thought I'd just nip back and show you where we're at just now. now it's been on for about five and a half hours and it's probably be ready in about half an hour, 45 minutes. So this is where we're at and this is what you should have. As you can see, it's all thickening up. It's very thick now. And that's what you're looking for. Okay, okay. So I'll give it another half hour or so and that'll be that done. Now the sausages are looking very pink, but that's just because they're beef sausages. They're never going to go brown the way pork sausages do. So I'll break down another wee bit. I'll thicken up some more and then when it's ready, I'll pop back and I'll show you what it's like plated. Okay, guys. Now, guys, that's us all done and it's finished. So I just want to let you see. This is the end result. <laughs> And you'll know when it's ready because you can see, you know, it's all come together beautifully. The potatoes are all mashed up. The carrots are cooked. Everything is cooked. It's steaming hot. Some of the potatoes have retained some of their shape. Some of them have uh, disintegrated completely and went into a sort of mashed potato sort of consistency. But that's us. So I'm just about to plate that up. But before I go, I just want to let you know, coming up on Saturday, I'm going to be doing an amazing smoked fish pie, which is perfect for the winter months ahead. Uh, you know, it's just fantastic. It's made, it's, it's basically smoked fish in a creamy white sauce, topped with creamy mashed potato. And then a couple of days after that, or the week after that, I'll be doing a lasagna. And in between that, I'll also be uploading a recipe for traditional fruit scones. So be looking forward to that. You can't go, you can't go wrong with fruit scones. I'll be adding some cream and some strawberries as well. Right guys, I'm going to go and uh, get this plated up now, so I'll pop back in a sec. So this is it plated up guys, and I really wish you could smell this. My mouth is absolutely watering. It might not be the prettiest thing in the world to look at, but my goodness, it's absolutely delicious. So all I have to do now is pop in a wee oat cake <laughs> to make it even more Scottish. And that's about it. I just want to say thanks again for watching What's For Tea, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now and take care.